In the 1960s, the SR-71 Blackbird could fly 85,000 feet up at over Mach 3, faster than any missile ever fired. My grandfather worked with Strategic Air Command and Lockheed inside the network that kept it flying. After a U-2 spy plane was shot down over the Soviet Union in 1960, America lost its eyes in the sky. So the CIA turned to Kelly Johnson's Skunk Works to build something untouchable, a plane that could see everything and survive anything. That became the A-12 ox cart, the prototype for the Blackbird. The first A-12s were tested in total secrecy at Groom Lake, later known as Area 51. Their titanium skin expanded mid-flight, their fuel tanks sealed only at Mach 3, and their engines burned a chemical called TEB that ignited bright green. By 1963, the program had achieved Mach 3 plus sustained flight, a world record at the time. By 1966, the Air Force's version, the SR-71, joined Strategic Air Command. From bases like Beale Air Force Base, it photographed Soviet missile fields at the edge of space. My grandfather's role as liaison between Lockheed and SAC helped bridge the engineers who built the jet with the commanders who depended on its data. The Blackbird didn't just outrun threats, it redefined reconnaissance.